What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be installing the Highline Winch Bumper by Body Armor onto the fifth gen 4Runner. So I picked up the Highline Winch Bumper by Body Armor recently. Um, the reason why I chose this bumper over the others was, well, affordability. It's a well-priced winch bumper. It looks really nice, looks like the build quality is good and there's no additional costs. Um, a lot of the winch bumpers that you can buy online will have a list price, and then they usually charge you extra money for a bull bar or you know an LED light cutout or a winch cutout, that sort of thing. This bumper came with the bull bar, the cutout, and for the winch bumper and everything. Um, it even came with trim to go around the plastic after you cut it out, so it just comes with everything you need. Um, it's well-priced and it looks nice. Um, I saw some, some other guys who had this bumper online and I was impressed with the way it looked on their ride. And so yeah, today we're gonna be installing that on the 4Runner, so let's jump into it. All right, so the first step here is to remove our front bumper cover. Um, the thing that we'll start off with first is removing this fender liner or mud guard from the actual bumper cover itself. In order to do that, you have three 10 mil kind of screws or little bolts. So we'll just take our 10 mil here and we'll just get these off. So you have two short ones on the bottom and you should have a bit of a longer one here on the top. So these two will be the same. Just try to remember that for when you put it back on. And this one, just a little bit longer. So put those to the side. This one up here is kind of, you need to pull this this way and it will unclip. It's kind of like a clip that the plastic kind of wraps around and pushes in. These just need to be pushed kind of outwards, so. Um, you can use a pry tool to do this. So kind of pop these. So these little clips you push forward and out that way. Right, and then that one, like I said before, just kind of pops like that. And the bumper will actually just peel back. Um, but yeah, that's, so that's that part done. All right, so once you've undone those three 10 millimeter bolts in your wheel well there on the driver's side and passenger side, you will come under your bumper cover here and you will have a 10 mil over here that attaches your bumper cover to your fender liner. Um, you'll have another 10 mil underneath here that you'll undo um, that attaches it to a mount and I believe a bit of the fender liner. And then you'll have another bolt over here that attaches uh, the bumper cover to your crash bar um, or impact bar. I don't have one in currently because I just did this bumper conversion and my crash bar is currently out and I'm ready to put in my uh, body armor bumper. but. I will still show you how to remove your crash bar later on in the video, but for now, I just don't have one in here, but you would undo another bolt here, and you'd repeat this whole process for the other side of your vehicle as well. After that, you're gonna look up and disconnect your fog lights, and there's a little clip here. All right, so after you've gone and undone those three nuts in the wheel wells, the three underneath, you've pulled that mud guard open, you've gone up, unplugged your fog lights, we're ready to open the hood now, and we have this cover here we need to remove. So, in order to remove the cover, you need to undo these little clips. There's one, two, 13 of these things. So, good thing to do is just take a little flathead screwdriver and you'll just kind of come in, get underneath in the corner, pop it up, and then it should come out. Once you've removed all 13, just lift up and move this cover out of the way. All right, so we've taken that cover off and that gives us access to another pop clip here. This kind of attaches it to this kind of headlight housing and I think there's a little bit of a support there on the frame. So we have a pop clip there. We have a 10 mil in the center. We have another pop clip here. And then if we look down, we have one here, 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 and here. So four down there, two pop clips on the top, and that 10 mil there. So let's take those off. Good. And now we'll just do our little pop clips. So just under there with the flathead. Flathead screwdriver works great. And then when we're gonna do these four under here. Good. 
All right, guys, so I can't stress this enough. I've put down a fleece blanket here. Anything works, you know, you can put down a bunch of towels, any sort of blanket. It doesn't have to be sexy cheetah print fleece blanket, but um, anything to just protect your bumper. Uh, you might even wanna do this even before you start removing the clips, just in case your bumper falls down. You don't wanna scratch it up and that sort of thing. And they do, they do come off quite easily once all the clips are off. Um, so what we've done is we've, we've done those three clips in the wheel well, um, or those three screws. We came under, we did the three screws on each side, um, three screws in the other wheel well. We took these clips off, pulled that off. We did our four on the top, or sorry, two on the top there and four on the bottom. That 10 mil, we got that off. We're ready to take our bumper off now. So now that we got those clips or those um, screws taken off here, mostly what's only holding it on here is just some clips that go around here and some clips that go around here. And it's really easy. What you're gonna do is just basically peel the bumper off on each side and it will just come loose and it will actually just come down. Um, do make sure you have your fog lamps unplugged. You know, pull that uh, mud guard, get up in there and undo those fog lamp uh, clips. And um, yeah, let's do this. So yeah, just peel it along. So got those clips there. I just kind of lightly pushed it back on. We'll pull these ones, and just get those. Great. Um, and now we're ready to pull the bumper off. All right, so with your bumper cover off, you're gonna to need to remove your impact bar. And to do so, you'll need a 14 millimeter and you will have four bolts on each side. Um, breaker bar works quite well. Sometimes it can be a little difficult to get in, you know, due to your, um, your skid plate um, and, and the, because of these um, air deflectors. But just get in there, with, unloosen all of these on each side and just pull your crash bar out or impact bar and put it off to the side. This is where we're gonna bolt up the new Body Armor Highline winch bumper. All right, so measuring is pretty challenging, um, following the directions to do this. Um, and basically what I'm doing is they want you to create a line. They want you to measure down from here to here, and it should be two and three quarters. Um, so two and three quarters, ends about there. And so I put a little piece of tape and I'm following the top edge there. And that's my two and three quarter mark line. Um, and then they want you to measure down from the bracket here, an inch and a quarter and put another little line. So uh, I'm gonna go on the end of the tape here. Um, so one, one, sorry, one and a quarter inch is there. And I'm, I'm of course measuring the top of my tape here again. Um, so I'll do that on the other side. So this, this two and three quarter mark, I find kind of ends right where this curve, there's a little curve in the plastic here. It's right at the top. That's the two and three quarter mark. And then, yeah, I kind of tuck my tape measure under here and did a marking here for one and a quarter inch. And then what the idea is, is you, you do that on the opposite side measure the same way, put your little tape marks down. And then I'm gonna do a straight line using my tape. Tape's nice because it will follow a straight line. So I'm gonna pull this out. I'm gonna basically hold this straight and I'm gonna put it on that line and I'll put it on my other line on the other side. And that's how I'm gonna get my straight line. And this is just a window marker I picked up in the um, tool store. It's for basically writing on windows and that sort of thing. You could use like a grease pen or something like that probably too. All And I'm just gonna leave these pieces of tape in place just kind of as a reference. So I know that that's the actual line. All right, so we'll follow this kind of edge up here. And then we're gonna measure an inch and a half out from there. And then we're supposed to put a line going up. 
upgrades. I think that's about an inch. So this mark and an inch and a half out. Great, so we've created this bottom line. We've created this top line. This top line is our cut line here. Um, we created the bottom line as a guideline. So when we do our cut, we're gonna come up along, not on the outside, but on the inside here, we're gonna come up and along, and then we're gonna hit this line. This is our guideline on the bottom. As soon as we hit the bottom of this guideline, we're gonna start to kind of turn, and we're gonna do our cut, come up, and it's gonna meet in the middle of these two intersecting, kind of like, imagine this is a triangle. Our cut's gonna kind of hit here and that's when it's going to go flat and we're going to go along this top cut line. All right, so I got the bumper supported in each corner. Um, it's up off the ground. I have some ear protection in and I got some goggles on and I have a Dremel here which I'm going to use to do this angle. And then I have a larger kind of grinder disc to kind of cut up along here and do that top line. All right, so I've taken my skid plate off here. Um, I've taken out the 14 mil hex nuts, the, the stock ones that go on the crash bar here. I took one of these 14 mil bolts and I fed it through in the opposite direction. So it would go on this way, but I've done it through the back side so that it's actually coming out a little bit. And I'm gonna use that to guide. And I did, I did that on both sides. I'm gonna use that to guide when I bring the bumper on so I can kind of get it to kind of hold on to something and it kind of guides it into place. Then I'll place the other um, bolts in to secure it. Um, the bumper has been cut. Uh, what you might want to do is go around the edges because when you're cutting it with the blade, it heats the plastic up and kind of melts it and it's, it's a bit rough, but if you actually flick it off with your hand once it kind of cools down and hardens, it'll just flick, break off the sides and you'll be able to clean up that edge. Um, I think it's a good cut. I'm hoping it'll work. What I'm going to do is just, yeah, mount the winch bumper on. Um, there is over here, this air deflector that I might have to trim. So we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna put the bumper up. If it's contacting this plastic, then I will come in and I'll just cut a chunk out here. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't, depending on the type of air deflector you have. So I'm hoping that the air deflector that I have will not contact the winch bumper, but it might. So let's give that a shot now and see how it goes. All right, so I got my jack here and I have a piece of wood on the bottom of the jack just so I don't scratch the metal. If you don't really want metal on metal contact. All right, so with the test fit there, it was contacting the air deflector on the passenger side and the driver's side. So I'm basically gonna cut off about three to four inches on the bottom of each air deflector. And then that should give me enough space that I can actually move in and install the bumper. All right, so when you're trimming your air deflector, there's a piece that clips in here at the bottom. It uh, goes into the slot. So make sure that you trim it so that you keep this piece intact, but you remove this plastic and this whole area so it's free to, to bolt up but and um, let me know contact here but you still need this piece as a support and it is the same on this side i trim the piece of plastic along here but i maintain this piece for it to clip on and support the frame those support 14 mil uh, bolts really help All right, I got my blanket down here. Now I'm gonna test fit the bumper cover on here and just see how it fits and to see if I need to make any cuts to make it nice and snug. Let's give it a shot. All right, so I got the bumper to fit here. Uh, it's looking pretty good. It's. Um, you know, I might have trimmed a little bit too much on each side here just to get it to fit, but um, I'll use this, this kind of trim stuff they gave me to go around the edges, and I think that'll kind of fill in the gap a little bit and just allow it to fit really good. So, yeah, really happy with the bumper. I'm going to pull the plastic bumper off now. I'm um, going to really secure those um, hex bolts down. And then what I'll do, um, just look at the instructions and, and figure out how many foot-pounds of torque you're supposed to torque those down to. I haven't done that yet. Maybe I'll put it on the screen here for you. 
Um, but yeah, I'm gonna put, uh, so I'll take this off, tighten down those hex bolts, put this along the plastic trim here on that edge to kind of clean it up. The kit does come with this, with the bump, this comes with the bumper. Um, and then I'll put my skid plate back on and um, then I'll do the mounting hardware underneath to secure the plastic bumper to the actual winch bumper. Let's do it. All right, so your body armor Highliner winch bumper will come with uh, a box with um, a whole bunch of hardware in it and some instructions. Um, on the front, it'll tell you all the parts that you should have. What I actually did is I sat down at my kitchen table and uh, I put all of the hardware out and I just arranged it. And I, I made sure that everything was accounted for. And then I kind of put it in a Ziploc bags, you know, for each part. I just looked at each step, what hardware was required and just kind of organize it in a Ziploc bag. So I have bumper support brackets here and the hardware to put those on. Organized, what is this one? Light bar mount hardware holder. That's the hardware there. Um, it will come with this uh, trim. And yeah, so just arrange your hardware and just kind of get it all organized. Make sure you have everything before you get started. Makes it a lot easier. All right, so under the bumper here, there'll be a mounting be a bracket that comes down. Um, what we're going to do is connect it, connect this piece onto that bracket loosely like this. And then we will have the larger bolt that will actually bolt onto the frame through this one. So this is the driver's side and there'll actually be a little D imprinted on the metal here. So you'll know that this is the driver's side and this, this piece goes on the driver's side. The one on the passenger side is slightly different, so, but we'll get there. Um, so yeah, let's get this installed. All right, so we'll mount this one like this. This is gonna go kind of up and under our bumper. There we go. And this one will go on the other side. And make sure you're using all your washers and lock washers when you're doing this. But just at first put it on loosely. Washer, lock washer, nut. Good, so that's on there. Kind of loose. And then we'll take our big bolt here. And we'll feed our big bolt into the frame. There we go. All right, and then we'll tighten them down here. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna attach the plastic bumper onto this bracket now. So we'll go put the bolt through there. Then on the opposite side, we'll have a washer and a nut. All right, so you're gonna want a 13 millimeter on the other side here and a 13 millimeter here. I'm just using 13 millimeter wrench and a 13 millimeter socket. And then start tightening. Awesome. Perfect, so we got, wow, that's that's on there, good. So this bumper cover is now secured to this bracket, which is secured to the bottom of the, um, the bumper here. So that side is done, now we'll do the passenger side. All right guys, so the winch bumpers on the Forerunner there, just finished doing those brackets on the bottom. Um, at this point, you'd basically just go and do all of the parts, reattach everything in the same order that we took everything off. Um, all the clips in the uh, wheel well there to hold that um, mud guard on. All your clips kind of under the hood here to keep this bumper on. Um, just reattach all that stuff, make sure your fog lights plugged back in. And that is the job. Um, it wasn't too bad, you know, with recording, it probably took me about four or five hours. It was just a lot of measuring with that, um, with the bumper here to get those cuts perfect. That was probably the most time consuming part and the most tedious part. Um, definitely, you know, use this trim. It really cleans things up, makes it look nice. I'm really happy with the bumper though. Um, in future videos, I'm gonna show you how to put an LED light bar in with some OEM switches in the dash there to, you know, have it nice and clean. And also I'll show you how to install that winch. 
Um, but yeah, hope you guys liked that video. Hope you found it useful. Um, if you did, please like and subscribe. Hope to come up with a lot more videos. Have a lot of plans for the Forerunner project here. And I always appreciate your guys' support. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye now.